and in Paris and in Rome that will be an obelisk facing the capital that symbolizes the male genitals. So the obelisk is a, a male penis and the, the capital domes are female breasts. That's what it is. <laughs> There's the Texas Capitol. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour, I guess, around the grounds. Uh, so you want to explain me about the uh, conspiracy and uh, secret society? Yeah, where's a good spot for you? What's the best spot for me? So are, are we going to just be here around or are we going to some, somewhere else? There's a police memorial in the back, too, that's Masonic. Masonic. Yeah. Okay, well, we choose what's the... Beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah. It's really no secret to history buffs that the modern architecture in the Western world is modeled after Greek and Roman. And obviously, any of their big government buildings or public buildings were dedicated uh, to different gods. Uh, and of course, it was the same gods, just uh, different names between Greek and Roman. And this building is a temple to Diana, and the dome symbolizes a woman's breast. And on top of it, you even have the guardian goddess guarding the state of Texas and holding the lone star, which is also a Masonic symbol, in her hand. Texas was founded predominantly by Masons. Most of the people that died at the Alamo uh, were Masons. A lot of my ancestors were Masons, and they weren't bad people. Most Masons don't see the big picture. They're lower level. Uh, the whole Masonic system goes back to secret schools of mathematics and construction and architecture. So their religion is expressed through their architecture because their religion was born out of architecture and using a secret religious society to keep those mathematical systems secret, going back to Egypt, King Solomon's Temple, going right through, uh, through ancient Greece and Rome uh, into Western Europe today. And even in Asia, there were secret societies surrounding mathematics. Uh, and uh, the first mathematicians you know, really began their calculations by trying to measure the stars because they believed it had religious import. So really, it goes back to the roots of human development. So I'm not saying all Masons are bad, but these secret societies then allow elites to control large groups of people through compartmentalized structures. Well, it's just for thousands of years, every major construction in the Western world has been built along Masonic lines. The uh, temples to different goddesses, generally Diana is the most popular. There's also Eulogia, Skull and Bones, worships her. There's a whole bunch of them. But uh, these temples are based on uh, temples in Rome and Greece that are to feminine deities, to the feminine side, and the dome represents the breast. When you see pyramids or you see obelisks with a pyramid top, that is dedicated to the male. And so a lot of times when you see a state or federal capital, whether it's in Europe or in the United States, you will also see directly in front of a Capitol building a obelisk. And that is for the male. So, and there's no secret. I mean, they'll, tell, they'll even tell you in architecture school, this is modeled after a Roman uh, temple to Diana, okay? And obelisks are modeled uh, for the male god, generally Zeus or Saturn or Mercury. And basically, when the Christian faith arose 2,000 years ago, and then a few hundred years later, dominated uh, under the first Christian emperor in Rome, this stuff went underground, and the secret societies that were following the old gods uh, found a great home inside the Masonic mystery schools that were developed to guard and protect mathematical knowledge of construction. So, so, so the two groups basically merged. You asked the question, are all members of all yeah, governments yeah, Masonic? Uh, yes, that's the question. And, and, and I would say a lot of them are. A lot of them are publicly Masons or they are secretly Masons. And it doesn't matter whether they're Russian or whether they're Jewish or whether they're American or whether they're Chinese. It's this global good old boy club and they fight with each other and they backstab and there's power struggles. But overall, they want to build a one world government under their absolute control 
their complete hegemonic domination, and that's what they're doing right now. Uh -oh. Are the majority of them really obsessed with like Yes. They're extremely obsessed. Most of our leaders, at high level, I don't mean your city council person or some regional leader. Take Tony Blair, for instance. If you look at any biography of a modern leader, you're going to find weird occult behavior. Tony Blair is one of the easier examples. It's always in the news that he channels some spirit called the light every day. He channels it and it tells him what to do. He travels all over the world to weird ancient temples and do different rituals. He's gone down to southern Mexico to have Aztec rebirthing ceremonies where he screams and yells and rolls around naked. I mean, that was in the news. So just so many of these leaders are into the occult. There's a hundred different brands of it. But it all basically is controlled by the same secret societies. And, and, and they're kind of like Russian dolls. They fit one on top of the other. Like there's one society, there's another society, another society, another society, all together like Russian dolls. You know what Russian dolls are, obviously. Uh, that's what we're talking about here. And that's why they're symbols of pyramid, because only those at the very top have all the information. The rest are compartmentalized in the structure, and that's how they control society. Well, the obelisk is the male member, yeah. erect, you know, procreating, creating. And so it goes back to the most primitive human religions where they worship the goddess and they worship the male who, uh, it's all about fertility that then continue the life cycle. It's the same in every human culture. And so these temples that are two goddesses, like this one to Diana, are conal. They're, they're, they're round, it's, it's the breast. Uh, is there, um, is there in Austin really something like a union group? No. no. Well, there's secret societies. We don't, we know there's been some weird reports out in the hill country, but that's out in the mountains, in the hills, about 30, 40 miles away. From here? Yeah, but you can't, it's private property. Mm. It's a major undertaking to try to go into those type places. That's probably the same as by like, people grow, right? There are there are other Bohemian groves. It's like Helmut Schmidt, the German Chancellor, said, "We have a grove in Germany, but my favorite place to do rituals is, is at the Grove in America." So yes, and there's lots of copycat groups. See, there's another dome. See, see how that's a pyramid right there with an eye in it. See how there's no window, but there's a hole. That's the all-seeing eye. Hidden in plain view. You see the two pillars. That's deep into Masonic lore, the two pillars. And it supports the pyramid on top of it. They always combine pyramids with the dome. But this is more dominantly to the goddess. So lesser is the male with the pyramid. And then above that, you've got the goddess symbolized by the dome. And then with an actual goddess up on top of it. And then got the star, which also represents humanity, and then everything comes in five, the magic, the star, the pentagram, the pinnacle. And then there's the friendly little building we'll be looking at a little bit later. The frost bank building, we're looking at it from a side angle, only seeing one of the eyes. You get catty corner to it, you can see the beak, the two eyes, everything. 33 stories tall, heavily Masonic. But again, I'm not saying the founders of Texas were bad like these men that have statues built to them over here. The point is that's how these Masonic systems control people, is it is globalist at the top with their bad agenda, controlling a lot of like-minded good people by claiming that their goal is community and freedom and freedom of speech. Well, if we've got a Mason-dominated society, I ask them where the freedom is. We're losing it more and more with the Military Commissions Act, the Patriot Act, uh, all the police brutality, the torture, everything this country's turned into. This is the shadow government. That's all secret societies are. They know that the general public wants to think that they're running things, so the elite go, okay, think you run things, but we're really going to be running things. That's what we're talking about. This capital we're about to go in, as I told you earlier, is one giant occult compound. Here we are in the bosom of the goddess Diana. In her breast, we are at the bottom of the dome. If you look at the top, you see a star. As above, below, at the bottom, 
you have the star. Again, more uh, 101 of magic. And that's what the globalists are into. That's what these secret societies are into, is that everything they do,